But as you can see, it's raining outside, so it's a typical Sunday summer afternoon. And it's now August, and Spider and I are on the Docklands Light Railway on our way to Stratford to pick up the line to go to South Woodford to film the new Ogin screen there. It used to be an ABC, it's now an Ogin, it's been rebranded. Railway a lot? Only for pleasure. Only for pleasure. And now we're on our way to Stratford, aren't we? Uh, I thought I was going to the pub actually. <laughs> no, no, we go to Stratford first and we go to the pub, is that alright? Um, yeah, alright. Well, alright then. <laughs> but what, what's so funny about the Stratford's like railway, there's no driver. Yeah. So here we are, sat at the front, because Spider likes to sit at the front. He likes to see where we're going. And it's raining. But I think it's going to be a great afternoon, don't you think so, Spider? Always. Yes, I'm really looking forward to going to South Woodford. Lovely place. Hello. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, so yeah, so right. late. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> What's up? So, we're going to go in a second. Here we yeah. go. Carrying on our way to Stratford. Today we've come to South Woodford, which I think we're still in London. I'm not quite sure if we're in Essex, but anyway, it's a suburb of London. Let's just put it that way. Like Barking is, so even though technically Barking is in Essex, but we're on that side of London. So, with the sun in my eyes, so I apologise for the. Uh, we're in South Woodford. Now, the last time we visited here, it was the ABC South Woodford, but today we come back because Ogian have taken over ABC quite a while ago now, as you all know and they've just rebranded here and it's now the OG in South Woodford and it's now seven screens. So we're going to meet Robin who I knew from working at the OG in South End many years ago when it was just a twin cinema. So it's going to be nice to meet Robin again and our friend Michael from, from the OG in South End is here. He's doing some relief work here today. So come with me now and let's go around the projection rooms here at the OG in South Woodford. Nice to see you here. We're not at Ogin South End, at Ogin no, South. Ogin South Yeah. And in the top box, we've got three projectors. Oh, I'm Robbie Dilking, technician at South Woodford, Ogin. Yeah. And uh, you, but in the top box, there's three cinemas off this top box, isn't there? Yes. Oh, quite yes, a list. That's uh, four, five, or six. Yeah, and how long has it been in Ogin, Robin? Officially about mid-summer last year. Yeah. And officially in ABC. Oh, yeah. take over. Okay, thank you very much. So it's nice to see the jets on an angle, that's it. The first time I think on the projection series we've got our link on. The cinema is linked up to the theatre just beyond the technician. So the film's actually coming from the other theatre into this actually front seat. And then it's leaving the actually front seat over to the platter over there. I think what we'll do, we're going to go over to the other machine and follow the film through. So follow me, I'm going to go around the box to the other machine. And here we are. Now I'm not sure what screen numbers these are. Basically we've got the film coming off the platter. And as you can see, it's not taking up. So it's coming off the platter and the arm is held back so the projector will not stop. Okay, and there we go. We've still got Cinemation 2005, which I believe is a good Cinemation. Digital timers, which is excellent. There's the clock. We're in this is screen five. 
And we've got another kid that's not projected or really these are Phillips FP20s. I think these have been here quite a while, probably from the original cinema when it was an ABC before the brand of Trojan. Again, we can see it's been fitted with a laser. So we've got CX21H, presenter lamp, I believe it's 1.6 Renin. And the interesting thing we've got a Kinetron projector, or as I said, a Philips FP20, and we've got Cinemechanica switching. I'm going to make a film video with the projector, so we'll just walk around here. And this film is travelling all the way across, up, now here we have the tensioner, so if you've got a child movie, um, you won't stop the film, because obviously two projectors don't go exactly the same speed. It's back to life. So here we are, back at the second projector that's on later. Again, we've got cinematic fish control here. So you can see the original portholes. This is the original projection room of the ABC Woodford. So here we have the film coming back. And just coming up to the platter. And so when this film finishes, they'll be re-threaded up. And we'll feed off this platter through the two projectors that are taken up on the platter we saw just before. Moving to the left, so that was screen five and six. And third door right here. I love these old wooden doors from the old cinema, as you know. And here we have screen four. Again, we've got an FP20. I do like these old cinemas converters, they're really nice. So we went screen four. And Michael. Michael's working here today. So let's have a look at this FP20. Laser LED, well it's not laser LED, it's a laser red light. MC Cinema Panic switch control there to operate the what was the Philips? Now it's known as Kiniton FP20.
and we've got a CP55. Robin, have you got any digital in this theatre? Yes, number one theatre. Is that your big screen, is it? Yeah. Is that downstairs? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, thank big you. Big screen, but small theatre. I oh, really? That's the best way to describe it. <laughs> okay, excellent. There's the cut off in the event of a snatch. The action room window here. Robin, what used to be in this area where we are stood now? Staff room, I think. Oh, really? I think this is the wall of staff room. Right. Is the ensuite blue? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I don't think we'll go in there, but we'll, we'll take you away for it. And this is the original projection room stairs here. I love these old stairways. You feel like you're in a projection room when you look at this. I guess this must be the office now. Is this your office now? No, it's a try room. Can't bits and pieces. It's not technically an office, it's in the staff room. I see. We've not we've all sorted out it was built all these Yeah, yeah. It used to be a plant intake room. Oh I see. But I, I love all these wooden doors. These are proper cinema, aren't they? When you see a door yeah, like this. It's original. Yeah, it's original. It's beautiful. So you can see where the old cape can walk. <laughs> yes. God. That was still there. So here we've got some of the original switch gear for the fans and whatever. Wow. That's where the motor was. Ah, oh, there's the fan. The old fan has come out. You can't beat these proper cinemas, these old cinemas with all this gear. Fascinating. Oh, now what's Michael playing with? Is that cross box? It's a CP50 for us. Oh, I wasn't looking at I was looking at the, uh, this. I think that's a cross box. Mm -hmm. We've got an old CP50 call. What we're looking at now is an old cross box. Is this from an EP20, Michael? I think it is. Oh, what's this? Is that something holding remote, if you think, at one time? It's a huge piece of metal frame. Like yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe something to do what was. Yeah. I bet this is really nice for you coming to work here for the day, Michael, being in an old type cinema which you're so familiar with. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Little staircase. You can you imagine back 50 years ago the chief walking up going, Hey lad, make me a cup of tea, and the lads have to do it. That's right, isn't it, Michael? Yeah. 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 Not, not today. <laughs> but I do, I love this stairway. History. That's what it is, Michael. It's history. It's a great view of the road across the uh, roof. Is it? Here we are, we're on the projection roof. Wow, it's a huge building this weapon, isn't it? I think it's small. Do you? Yeah. All right, okay, it's just, from the outside it does look huge. It looks huge. Well, it looks small to me, but they're going to work to a bigger screen. Yes, I mean, yeah. you used to work at South End, then you used to work at Walthamstow, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, this is as big as this. Yeah, but that was nice, Walthamstow, having that nice stage, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was really cool. So how long have you been here now? 
Started 18th of August last year. Oh, last year, and you came from Walthamstow? Yeah. And now that's Asian films, or...? It's, it's English-English now. It's, it's English now. Changed English April last year. Ah, but originally when ABC... Did ABC sell it, or did Odeon sell it? I'm not I think sure. it was Odeon. Yeah. And for a short period it was Asian and then they got the OK yeah, to show that's right, yeah. But they were going to spend a lot of money at one time, weren't they? Yeah. Um, there was be some things in the newspaper. And yeah. The latest thing is they want to turn it into a church. Oh, what a shame. But there's an up in arms about it at the moment. Yeah, yeah. It was really here. I remember coming here a couple of years ago when I did it when it was an ABC and it was on six screens. I jumped on a bus and like 10 minutes away I was in Walthamstow. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. I enjoyed that day. That was also on a Sunday. But I don't know what's going to happen there. The, the, the people don't want to lose it in Walthamstow. Mm -hmm. I noticed it when I was there. They weren't going to it either. So. No, so it's a catch-22, isn't it? Have you got a multiplex near you here? A Cine World? Cine UK? Cine, yeah, Cine World UK is in Ilford. Oh, right. So but I thought Cine World had one in Woodford, but obviously not here. No, that's Wood Green. Oh, Wood that's, Green. That's uh, near... in between Walthamstow and UCI. Ah, so you got no problems then? No. Well, Only the one that's in Milford. Ah, yes. Excellent. <laughs> if you follow it over towards the left hand one, yes. there's a very short tower there. Yeah, in the middle, yeah. Just go to the right, left slightly. Yeah. You see that's cream and red? Y yeah, I think so. That, that's it. Never. <laughs> so we're looking over the former Ogin Gans Hill. Looking towards Canary Wharf. And this projection staff room now. So Robin, what you're just saying to me now, where we are actually, we're stood on the top of screen seven. seven. Yep, just about it's it. It's amazing. It used to be the ballroom, I believe. Oh yeah. The spring floor. Mm-hmm. But no fly tower. One no. up to my knowledge. You never uh, had any stage facilities. I don't know. I, I came in here after they started knocking it about. Yeah. I never came in before then, but I never find it. Oh, right. <laughs> no, I was told by my previous chief, it was in, it was in Woodford, so I went, Woodford one. Oh yes, not South Woodford, yeah. Not South Woodford, I accidentally found it one day when I came to 406, I thought, oh, yeah. that's where it is. Yes. If he said it was next to Waitrose, I would have known exactly where it was. Oh right. Are we far from your end of the world where you live and where you come from? From South End, I see. Oh, you come from, do you still live in South End? Yes. Oh no, so you commute every day? Yep, when I come up here. Oh wow, that's fantastic. Do you ever pop in to see Michael South End? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Occasionally, not occasionally as I like. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're spending all day here, you just need to do your own thing when you get home, exactly. don't you? Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's fabulous. What projectors have you got downstairs? Then you've got Philips FP20s up here. Everywhere. Oh, the, the... Standard ABC issue. Oh, well, that's good. So they kept you the same projectors same and the same space. Oh, well, that's, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like the FP20s? I like them. I haven't experienced as much as I've done with Victoria's. That's still right. still like Victoria's. Yeah. FB20s are okay. Yeah. Better than DP7s. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, you better. Yeah. Never say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a boring bit. Back here. Oh, lovely. Okay. Oh, here we are in the battery room. What voltage are they? 110. 110. 120. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to uh, top up these, do you? That's a bonus.
Another beautiful old door. Interesting, you see what it says on the other side of it? Go on then. Ah, oh, TV Ryan's room! Oh, wow! Hey, neat! Generator room. So, before the days of rectifiers, so the generators would be in there zooming along on the shafts. So now your staff room is in. Don't grab my bag, it's got It's just getting my bag from it. You always come back out for a drink. Oh, okay. Now, is this the other stairway from and to the uh, projection room? Because you always used to have two exits, didn't you, for the projection room? Um, I think that's the old exit way to block up the ball room. Oh really? Oh this is where we came in wasn't it? Oh look at that. So these stairs lead nowhere but look what we've found. Two penis arcs. Isn't that lovely? Look. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this, that's nice. So oh. there's the old exit way. Uh -huh. I love these old passageways and staircases that generally public don't go into now. Is this an exit way officially? Well, it's really yeah. There's a door there, I'm not sure what it goes to. It did tell me once, but it goes behind the back of the screen. Oh, right. That old part of the screen, I'm not sure where it goes. So is this the boys and girls staff room here? This is the girls and boys staff room. Alright, so you have to come here to get the projection door. Or to get. Yeah. Yeah. This is screen seven. Three. Screen three. And then um, lower level. Uh huh. Is this the back of the stalls? The original stuff, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
We've got two different rollers here depending on what plate you're going onto. This is for little projectionists. Well, Robin. Thank you very much, Robin. It's been absolutely. I've been here a long time ago, but to see the cinema now is fabulous, and your projection rooms are fabulous. They're all spacious, they're all well run. And thank you very much for showing me around. It was awesome. Nice Come to see again. you again. How long is it since we've seen each other? Quite a number of years now. Quite a number of years. I think it's still over ten years. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming in. It's been absolutely light. Thank you.